Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we're going inside of the Universal Studios store to see what new Wizarding World of Harry Potter merchandise is available. We'll look at prices, sizes, everything you need to know to plan your trip to Universal Studios. For $25, this is a new blown glass Hedwig ornament. I'm not sure if this was supposed to be released during the holiday season and it was just late, but it was not here when I was here for Christmas. I also don't remember this platform 93 quarters ornament for $18.95 or this one for $18.95. Here's a giant Hogwarts Express Stein, $40 and it is microwave and dishwasher safe. I love this magical line. And while it's not new, the bowls are back in stock. These are $17. I'm loving these Hogwarts Crest Steins. We have the Hogwarts Crest on the front. It says Wizarding World of Harry Potter on the back. And etched into the cup itself are the different Hogwarts House Crests. These are also $17. Here's some awesome new Hogwarts Express merchandise. Here's a women's shirt for $36.95. And I'm seeing size small to 2XL. Here's a long sleeve t-shirt for $35. $24.95 for the tumbler. And the mug is $17. Hogwarts Express coaster set, four for $21.95. And $25 for this Hogwarts Express journal. Here's some new snow globes. These are made by Inesco. Harry, Ron, and Hermione on the Ukrainian Iron Belly, $60. These little mini snow globes may have been here, but they are $25 and they are five-sided, featuring the Hogwarts crest and all four of the house crests with the sorting hat in the center. Now, if I've already shown something, my apologies. I show a lot of merchandise here and I do my best to remember. So I think most of what I'm showing is brand new. We have some new signs. Now these are fairly new. They're Hogwarts house wooden signs. They are $39. Loving this wood wall plaque. Sirius Black's Wanted poster, $24. Here is a tin or metal platform nine and three quarters sign, $39. Now I've seen the Mischief Managed sign, but I don't recall seeing this one. It's very, very cool. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. $19. Here's a ceramic sculpted mini cup set. I can't find a price on these, so I'm not sure how much they are. I saw these exploding snap games in Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, and I don't recall seeing them in the past. So we've got a new exploding snap game for $17. I love the box too. This would display really, really well. It's a beautiful Fox the Phoenix journal. I'm guessing this is Inside Editions, and it is. Inside Editions for $18. Now this Hogwarts Express ticket line is not new, but there are some new items. I think we've seen this in the past, but if it's new, I wanted to show it. It's a passport holder for $28. For $55, you can get these crazy Hogwarts Express ticket pants. Super shiny. They have like a faux leather cotton feel to them. I see sizes 2XL to extra small. This new halter top is $45. Here is the matching Hogwarts Express ticket bag, $65. We have some new hats and gloves, $30 for the pom-pom hats, $22 for the gloves. And I don't believe that this is a new scarf line, but these are $45, all four houses. New house coffee cups with handles, $17 in all four houses. These are some fancy t-shirts. 
37. And these also range in sizes from extra small to 2XL. Loving these cups with straws, these reusable cold cups. $19. Check out these awesome Diagon Alley lounge fly bags. These are $82. Pretty good size. The back has gold stars on it. A very cool bag. For $55, you can get a matching wallet. Check out these house banners. Now guys, they are really thick, really well made. They're embroidered. They have these tassels on the bottom, a wood dowel, rope to hold it up, and surprisingly only $27. I love them, all four houses. Now I've seen the t-shirt form of this design, but never the pullover hoodie. It's $55, it feels a little bit thin, so it's not like your typical thick hoodie, but really cool. Here's that Inesco snow globe. They've released some really cool new house t-shirts. $35. Here are some matching totes. $45. Here's the Ravenclaw shirt and tote. Now Universal has also come out with similar, not quite the same, but similar child-sized shirts so you can match with your kids. Very cute. And these are $30. It has some cool detailing on the sleeves. And like the others, we have some icons and relics. And of course, the house traits. These new house mascot plushies are not super new, but they were out of stock last time it was here. So they have all four of the house mascots now. We have Ravenclaw. Here's the Hufflepuff Badger. Slytherin. And Gryffindor. And these are $25. You can get these new house journals for $25, and they feature the new house designs. And this is the other mascot plush design. They come with house scarves for $30. Okay, come on guys, these are adorable. Here's a new Dobby doll for $45. Pygmy Puff Alert, they have both colors back in stock, as well as both colors of the giant Pygmy Puffs. These are some recently released Baby Unicorn plush for $22. Now Baby Unicorns are born gold and then they turn white later on in life. And for $25 you can purchase the parent unicorn. Still for sale is the new Collector's Edition wand. They say it's the 2021 wand, but they have already previously released a 2021 wand. These are the new Hogwarts House crewnecks. They retired the crewnecks that were all gray and had the Hogwarts House written across the front. The house name is now on the sleeve. And we have the house crest on the front. And the back is plain. The sizes are extra small to 2XL. $65. Now leave a comment down below. Do you prefer the new style or the old classic style? I guess I'm a little biased in that question. Here are some relatively new small backpacks for $65 each. They have this little palm attached to the zipper and a metal crest. And when I say small, they're pretty darn small. Now the robes are not new, but they have a new price, $139. Danielle Nicole bags for $82. So as you're seeing, there's a lot of new merchandise, like all over the place, whether it's apparel or collectibles, there's a ton of new stuff. Definitely come check it all out if you have the opportunity. $25 for this golden snitch necklace. This is actually really, really cool. Here's a smaller version, also $25. Here's a very cool like spell dangle necklace. It says Lohamora. There's a key charm attached to it, as well as a wand charm. So 
Horcruxes for $37. $33 for these house necklaces and $20 for the matching earrings. Well, that's it. That's the new merchandise I could find here in the Universal Studio store. Now, a lot of that merchandise is going to be in the theme parks too. Now, I want to always mention anytime I do a merchandise video, I mention that you don't have to be going to the theme parks in order to have access to some of this merchandise. You can come to CityWalk, which is where we are right now. You can park your car in the garages. After 6 p.m., parking is free, and you can come shopping at the Universal Studio Store and have access to all of the things I just showed you today and more. Here's a little CityWalk or Universal Studio Store extra. There are actually two Universal Studio stores. There's the original, which is now the Universal Studios Legacy Store, and then there's the main store here, the Universal Studio Store. But the Legacy Store will sometimes sell things that are on their way out or being discontinued. So this is another one to check out if you're looking for Harry Potter merchandise. Well, I hope that this video was helpful for you to see what's new as well as to budget and plan for your next Universal Studios trip. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?